Hi, Dr. Eric Westman here with another episode of Learn with Dr. Westman. I'd like to give some highlights from the annual keto conference called the Metabolic Health Summit. The Metabolic Health Summit 2022 was held in Santa Barbara, California. Uh, there had been a year uh, skipped, uh, but this was the first in-person event uh, since the lockdowns and pandemic. So it was great to see researchers and friends uh, that I've known for a long time. I think it's important for updates on these kinds of conferences because the science of keto and, and nutrition for that matter is an evolving science. And I would think you would want your advisor to keep learning about the, the evolving science, which I do. I've been providing research and learning from these conferences since they were started. Um, so, of course, the highlight from the personal, you know, selfish perspective <laughs> is that our book received the top book award from the Metabolic Health Summit. Top keto book was End Your Carb Confusion by myself and Amy Berger. So it was great to see uh, other really, really good books go up for this award. Uh, of course, I have to say the types of books were very different. For example, Rob Lustig, who is a emeritus professor out of the University of California, San Francisco, wrote a book called Metabolical. And Metabolical was up for an award, but it's a very different book than And Your Carb Confusion. And Your Carb Confusion is a how-to sort of book with a little bit of the background of why you want to avoid sugar, why you want to keep the blood sugar low, and keep the insulin low. Uh, so our, and our book has a very practical guide of how you should get started and what kinds of foods you should follow. Uh, maybe that's why it got the award. I don't, I don't know. But the, anyway, the other books were very different in their, their scope and intent. Uh, I, I saw Dr. Lustig there at the meeting and um, Metabolical is a great book, but it's in a, a different type of book. It's not a how to, here's what you do um, to do the diet. Um, but, but so that was fun to receive the award. Amy Berger and I were invited to go up to the podium and got a little uh, trophy uh, uh, to take home for that. Uh, so check out End Your Carb Confusion. Now, there also is a cookbook, companion cookbook that just was published this year, End Your Carb Confusion Cookbook, which I'm really proud of both of these books and what they're trying to do in a simple way to teach you why and, and, and what to do. Uh, chef Scott Parker is a Michelin star chef who applied his knowledge to simplifying uh, recipes and doing really tasty things. As he says, after cooking all day at work, he doesn't want to spend a whole lot of time cooking at home, so he's sharing the secrets of how to make really excellent food from a chef's perspective with very little time. It's a great uh, cookbook uh, as well. Getting to the science, I, there are two main themes that I took away. Of course, a lot of, a lot of information there, but um, one theme uh, is metabolic psychiatry. So applying low carb or, or uh, prescription strength nutrition to psychiatry. There are two programs now that have propped up, at, one at Harvard, one at Stanford, called metabolic psychiatry and what they're doing is applying keto if if needed but uh, different nutritional approaches targeting reducing sugar and using keto diets and finding you know in some cases just phenomenal results in serious psychiatric illness uh, very interesting to see talks by dr shivani sethi at stanford she has a, a research group going there now with um, different types of studies being done. Uh, and then also Chris Palmer at Harvard, who has a, uh, a clinical program and, and a foundation that started to get research going. And Chris has a book that's in progress, uh, hopefully be uh, published later this fall. But the one-two punch uh, of the Stanford research by Dr. Sethi and the clinical outcome. So Dr. Palmer had one of his patients come from, he's in Boston, the Harvard area, had his patient come to Santa Barbara and they interviewed, uh, he interviewed her, the patient for you know, a half hour. It just, 
unbelievable story of transformation and uh, serious mental illness with homelessness and, and just, uh, just tr again, transform transformative, all by changing the food. So the big theme, metabolic psychiatry coming out of the Metabolic Health Summit. The second big theme that I saw uh, uh, was from the diet doctor group. Um, I, I've known Dr. Ian Felt, Andreas, the diet doctor himself, for a long, I've known him since he took his first camera and was himself the only one on the low carb cruise many, many years ago. And now he brings a, a cadre of camera people to cruises and, and to the Metabolic Health Summit. He had a bunch of people there too. So the teaching that he's done has grown through the years. Diet Doctor is the group internationally that coined the term LCHF, which means low carb, high fat. And what I, I saw, you know, there wasn't like a formal policy change, uh, but uh, what I saw is that there's going to be kind of a shift in direction or, or in communication such that there will be, I think, moving away to, uh, from low carb, high fat as a, as a term or, 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 or pr pushing that way of thinking and more toward foods that cause satiety or cause fullness. And I don't exactly know the detail behind it, but, the, but uh, Dr. Ianfeld got up and gave an excellent talk, as he always does, on foods that make you full. Getting a, you know, finding a category and, and determining a metric of food and fullness. Of course, if you've done a keto diet, you, you probably experience that some days you're just not hungry at all. It's not like the food is making you full, it's the ketosis is making you full without taking a food right then. But um, my, my sense is, is that it's uh, an approach that will allow the information to be used by many more people than just kind of a targeted keto sort of community. Um, and I've known for a while, having learned from Dr. Atkins and other uh, people who have written diet books, um, and in, including our book, End Your Carb Confusion, which is our latest thinking, um, the award-winning book now from the Metabolic Health Summit. Um, we have different carb levels in End Your Carb Confusion. And while we still, or I still like the language of low carbohydrate, it might be off-putting to some, And but I've known that you can be healthy with a wide range of carbohydrate intake if you have matched that to your metabolic state to your metabolism. Uh, if you have insulin resistance uh, and diabetes in that direction, then you want to be super low on the carbs, maybe even at a keto type of level. Uh, but uh, I, I, th I guess the, the signaling was uh, from Diet Doctor that they're going to be broadening their approach and appeal. Uh, not, that's not to say that low carb, high fat or, or keto isn't good or, or it's just that I think they're trying to get to a wider audience. Uh, Diet Doctor is the largest uh, site, I believe, on earth for low carb information. Um, and I do have to declare that I am a small uh, stockholder in Diet Doctor because they pay speakers and and they pay for my um, my video, for example, their videos uh, th through stock. Um, it's a very small amount, but anyway, um, uh, I, I look to Diet Doctor and uh, their group to be you know a premier source of information. Um, I've seen Dr. Brett Schur, S H E R. Uh, grow through the years, I, excellent interviews that he does now with scientists uh, on the, as medical director of Diet Doctor at dietdoctor.com. Um, so big, big three highlights from the Metabolic Health Summit in Santa Barbara, so Metabolic Health Summit 2022. Yay, we won an award for Andrew Carb Confusion, top keto book for the year. Uh, there is a growing interest in metabolic psychiatry that, with research being presented in clinical cases there. And then Diet Doctor is probably going to be broadening its audience uh, or, or um, policy toward different types of diets, probably not as restrictive as before, which you know I think is a great thing to try to get out of the echo chamber that has been created around keto itself. Um, so, so it's a, it may surprise you that at a Metabolic Health Summit 
which is focused on keto diets, that there's more than just keto. But I think that's just because the realistic uh, truth is that not everyone has to be keto and can achieve excellent health. Um, I hold out maybe that keto will be better than other approaches if the science shows that, but I don't think the science has shown that in humans yet, but it is at the table as a healthy diet that you can do now uh, as compared to any other approaches. Uh, again, uh, if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Why not even share it with a friend or relative? This is a grass movement of nutritional information. Also, please see the description below for my latest free guide. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and check out AdapterLifeAcademy.com.